Russian sends in mine clearing vehicle UR-77 meteorite to Donbass. Russian President Vladimir Putin pulls the proverbial trigger, and the Russian army currently massed along the border with Ukraine rolls west toward Kyiv, the fighting could be bloody, confusing and chaotic. Perhaps the most nightmare-inducing weapon, for the attackers, are landmines explosives lurking just beneath the soil, silent and unseen, until you step on them or roll over them in your vehicle. It's not clear how many landmines seed the ground along the likeliest invasion front in eastern Ukraine's separatist-controlled Donbass region. But it undoubtedly is a lot. To deal with mines, the Russian army deploys specialized units riding in equally specialized vehicles packing powerful countermeasures. One of these countermeasures has a secondary role wantonly blowing up entire city streets. The Russian army like many modern armies deploys line charges as its primary mine clearing system. A line charge essentially is a rocket propelled, rope-like explosive. The rocket boosts the charge into the air, draping the line charge across the minefield. The idea is for the subsequent explosion to trigger any mines underneath, explosively clearing a path. The trick is to get the mine clearing line charge, or miklik, close enough to the minefield usually no more than a few hundred feet. There might be enemy gunners or missilers behind that minefield you're trying to clear, and they undoubtedly would love to put a few rounds in a vehicle hauling a ton of naked explosives. It's not for no reason that the Russian often mount their mikeliks on armored vehicles and fold them into combat engineering platoons that accompany movement support detachments OOD is Russian acronym that trail behind the first line of tanks in a battalion tactical group. The platoons include two each of UR-77 mine clearing vehicles and IMR-2-3 armored bulldozers. The wider OOD with its host of special vehicles including monstrous Bat-2 path-clearing vehicles travels alongside tanks or infantry fighting vehicles for protection. If a unit runs into a minefield likely discovering the hard way that mines are underfoot the OOD moves forward. With tanks and IFVs laying covering fire, the UR-77 crew launches its miklik. A single line charge will clear a path of 90 meters by 6 meters, Lester Grau and Charles Bartles noted in the Russian way of war. The blast is impressive and dangerous. During fighting in Chechnya in 1995, Russian engineers mistakenly tossed a miklik into their own lines, killing 28 Russian soldiers. If and when Russia widens its war on Ukraine, the attackers' mine-clearing line charges could be some of the most horrific weapons in what surely will be a horrific campaign. Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden on Sunday reassured his Ukrainian counterpart Volodymyr Zelensky that Washington and its allies will respond decisively if Russia moves to invade its pro-Western neighbor, the White House said in a statement. The two men spoke on the phone days after Biden held a second conversation in a month with Russian President Vladimir Putin amid tensions on Russia's border with Ukraine, where Russia has massed some 100,000 soldiers. President Biden made clear that the United States and its allies and partners will respond decisively if Russia further invades Ukraine, White House spokeswoman Jen Psaki said in a statement following the call. Biden and Zelensky discussed preparations for a series of upcoming diplomatic meetings to address the crisis, according to the White House. Zelensky tweeted afterwards that he appreciated the United States' unwavering support and that the call proves the special nature of the two countries' relationship. He moves on Ukraine. The economic consequences for his economy are going to be devastating. Devastating.